I'm Penley the Penguin. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about mathematics and to educate you about penguins. Now, as you may know, emperor penguins such as myself have to take a long trek to the sea when we're taking care of our babies. The female penguin leaves, then comes back, and then the male penguins have to walk out to the sea, fish, replenish all the fat that they've lost from being from from not eating for almost a month. So it takes almost a month. They have to walk to the sea and fish and then finally replenish their body weight with fat and then we walk back. It takes approximately a month as a round trip to walk to the sea, fish, eat, get back to land and then walk all the way back to the whole group of penguins. So, we're also going to learn how to use area models, tiling, and the distributive property to find the area of, rec of rectangles. Here's an example. Say we have a rectangle that's 6 units by 12 units. How are we going to find the area? Well, we could make all the unit squares. How many are there? Well, one way we could do it is we could count all of them or we could divide them into two groups. So I divided the 12 units into simple groups, 10 and 2. And then I have a 10 by 6 rectangle and a 2 by 6 rectangle. Now, using the distributive property, I can divide 12 into 10 plus 2 and distribute 6 times 10 and 6 times 2 and add them up. 6 times 10 is 60 and 6 times 2 is 12. We add them together we have 72 unit squares or 72 square units. Now let's look at it on the rectangle. If this row is 10 then we could just count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's our 60 here. And here we have groups of 2, 6 groups of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12. 60 plus 12 is 72 units. So we use tiling and the distributive property to find the area of this rectangle. Good day.